Yo, what's up? Of course, it's hot. I'm Doc, SampleKings.com. And as you've seen, I do instructional videos. I do a bunch of instructional videos on all the gear. Now, I'm sorry they're long because that's how I do videos. I'm like that way. What can I tell you? I prefer to show a lot of stuff because it helps people out. Anyhow, I also do instructional lessons one-on-one, -on -one, right? And I want to talk today about using the MPC software and the hardware. You can do both. Let's make a difference. Like, I got a loop beat here. Where's this loop beat at? It's right here. Let's go here to the top, top. It's on the very top. There it is. It's a loop beat. Right? And a lot of guys aren't trying to use loop beats, I guess, in this case. You know, you're going to get a sample pack. You go to a sample pack. I got samples here. You click on this. You get some samples out of here. Let's see what we got here. We got disco. Let's go disco. What's this here? Oh, yeah. We got samples here. We got some samples there too as well. You can make up your own beat. I'm not refuting that. But I also believe that the MPC software and the MPC hardware, either way, they have the same software. All these devices are just labs. They're a lab for me, and my brain thinks of it as a lab. Now, for example, this is a loop. Let's play it again from the top. That's cool. I might just only want the snare drum. And what I'll do is I'll do this. Now in the background here, almost hear the drums come out, right? I can gate that out later on, but I want to make sure my metronome works. That's working. Metronome's in time with this sound. Now, let's see what this is. This is actually a noise gate. So I'm getting rid of frequencies here, and I'm cutting back on some. You see this reduction here? It reduces. It's only going to let through the snare drum. It's a gate. Snare, 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 snare. Snare, the gate comes through, locks out. Cool, right? The snare comes through and the gate locks out, rather. I want to maybe boost that with some EQs. I go to here. Oh. Oh, yeah. I like that. Oh, God, I like that. Now, you hear that? That's before. I got an EQ now. It's my EQ right there. I designed an EQ for this thing, get it kind of cool. That's just an initial EQ. Just set up my way. Right? I got two things going on. I want to do something else. Let me go back again. Get rid of this. Boop, 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 bat, boop, boop, right? I want to change that. I'm going to do some science now. I'm going to come to here. I want to bring the bass drum back. Oh, a different sound of bass drum. See that? I'm not the same beat. How about this? Or this? So I'm doing some science here. I've got this all transient going on here, right here, where I'm using this to create that sound and get out those hi-hats. Let the bass drum come through a little more through the gate. That sounds complicated, right? It kind of is a little bit, but really it's just easy to do. I can explain it to you, but in this video, I can't do that. But you get the idea now. How about if I just do some more stuff here, go like this. I added some compression now. I'm compressing it up. Get it tight. Or I can have it the other way around. Got hi-hats now. Everything is here. The purpose of this is to think of your MPC and everything else you're using inside your MPC as part of the lab. The plugins, the channels, the mixer, how to groove stuff up. This is all part of using this piece of gear. It's not just about making a beat up and doing other stuff. I got a beat now, I put a sample here. That's cool too. But you need to understand how other plugins work to help create your own mysterious sound. How to layer drums up. How to make sure when you bring a vocal in, how to make sure it fits in and you can change the actual pitch of the vocal. But let's, let's, let's do this. Warp that vocal up, then get some vocals that she does one part and make it into three parts harmony right you want to have a major chord a minor chord of the vocals so you want to take one vocal and create two more to make a triad see this stuff is what you need to do when you're dealing with an npc or any kind of software today you need to have some fun and create music and also create your own mystique now my deal is to teach you how to use everything on the machine 
This way, you're prepared to do whatever you want to do. And I think it's kind of necessary to do that. Now, a lot of times I know you guys get this gear and you go to a store, the guy at the store, he's got a badge, he sees you playing with the gear. He walks over to you, okay, blah, 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 blah. No money down. He's going to do anything he can to get you to buy the piece of gear. You get it, you come home. But then again, he's not going to be there when you're sitting around playing with it at 1 o'clock in the morning or something or in the afternoon or whenever you're doing it. The purpose of us having these lessons to help you out at that point, to help you out at that point, to help you get there to the idea that I can do it just like anybody else can. I just need to know what to do and when. And that's all it really is. So look, I want you to check us out at Sample Kings. I also do the same thing with the hardware. This is very easy stuff to me. And I can teach it to you and you'll be saying, this is easy for me too. The purpose of these lessons is to get you more involved with your gear and not Send it back and get a return on your money and be upset it didn't work out for you. The whole idea is lessons. No matter what you do, you need help no matter what you do. Any questions, hit me up. I'm at samplekings.com. The phone number is there. You can join our site also. It's only 30 bucks to join our site. People who join the site also get hours of help at the same time. We're here to help you get better. I'll see you in a few. I'm Da. Later. Got more tricks, got more tricks.